Good morning, class. How are you doing? This is Mrs. Matos. Uh, today we're going to have our history lesson number four. History lesson number four. Go ahead and make sure to grab your book, My America and My World. Okay. We're going to pick up where we left off last time. All right. So open your books to page 66. All right. Make sure to follow along as we're reading. I will be talking to you and asking you questions as we're going along, so just make sure to you follow along, okay? All right, so today uh, we're going to be traveling. We've been traveling since last time, right, guys, to different places. We had a fun lesson, right? And then today um, we're going to be flying to different places, so we're going to go to the different countries as well, okay? All right, so uh, page 66. The title is My America Sings. All right, America has some beautiful songs. When I sing about my country, I make my voice loud and clear. That way, other people will know how happy I am to be an American. Raise your hand if you're happy to be an American. Okay, it is a blessing to be able to be part of this amazing country. You should be happy that you're here. Some people from other countries wish they could have a chance to live here, but you are so blessed to call you the United States of America. Let me get one to show you how. Uh, we live in the United States of America, and this is where your home is, right? So you should be happy to be part of this amazing country, like I, like I said. So let's sing about our great land as we start our trip around the world. Okay, we have a song here. These are some beautiful songs. Um, let's go ahead and skip over the first song. Let's go to America the Beautiful. So I'm going to sing so you can see that. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesty, song maybe you haven't these are songs that are from our country okay they're beautiful songs so I would suggest for you to listen to them on your own time maybe you could have your mom and dad um, help you look for those okay now <clears throat> what song tells about what beautiful our America is the title is America the beautiful all right Let's go to page number 67, turn your page, and that um, over here is the Star Spangled Banner, okay, and, it, and it's written by Francis Scott Key, okay, that is our national anthem, okay, the national anthem is the song for us, it's one of the songs, like if you ever have been to a baseball game, basketball game, or whatever, they always sing the Star Spangled Banner, okay. So I will let you guys listen to that song on your own, on your own time. Maybe you'll be able to pick it up. All right. Turn over your book to your, turn your page to, to your book to page 68. Okay, here we have some maps, okay? We have some, this is a map. We're going to talk about a few things. This is a map of our world. We will visit countries all over the world. Each country we will visit is in red. One of the countries in red is the United States of America. Right now, I want you to look at your own book and look for all of the red that you see. Okay, there's a lot of red. We're going to talk about these places. I want you to point to the United States of America. 
okay? The United States of America, just so you know, that is the, it's called North America, so it's the northern region of, um, of the map, if you look. So let me point at it. I'm sure you guys found it before I did. It's right here. You guys need to know the country that you live in. That's the United States of America. We live in the state of California. Repeat after me, California, right? And then even after that, there's different cities, small towns where you and I live, okay? Some of you guys live in Redlands. Others live in Riverside, San Bernardino, Colton, Rialto. So there's a lot of different cities aside from the states that we live in where you guys, you and I live. Okay, and we live in North America. Can you guys repeat that? Okay, North America. Turn your books over to page 70. We're going to start with Canada. Okay. Okay. Vocabulary. You guys are my echoes. Neighbor. And Toronto. Good. Our first stop is in Canada. Our neighbor to the north. Okay. We can drive to Canada. There is a very special place that is shared by Canada and the United States. It is Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is partly in the United States and partly in Canada. Toronto is the largest city in Canada. Canadian cities look very much like cities in the United States with tall buildings and busy streets. Okay, let me show you. Sure, for those of you who don't have your book, right? It's really nice, right? So, what is the name of our neighboring city, of our name neighboring uh, country? Sorry, is Canada. What is the name of the waterfall that is between Canada and the United States? Is Niagara Falls. Okay, what city in Canada has the CN Tower, one of the tallest buildings in the world, that is Toronto. Turn your books over to page 71. The flag of Canada is easy to recognize because of the bright red maple leaf in the middle. Some police officers in Canada are called Mounties. Can you guys repeat after me? Mounties, good job. Many years ago, these police officers wore hats and bright jackets. The job of the Mounties is to protect and help the people the people's same way police officers do in the United States. Okay. Okay, so go back one page and you'll see the flag of the Canadian flag. Let's go over to page 72. Now we're going to travel along. So we're going on our plane again. We're going to Mexico. Okay. Maybe some of you guys have been there and maybe you haven't, okay? Mexico is closer to us. It is our neighbor to the south, okay? We could drive to Mexico, but it is faster if you drive, if you fly, I'm sorry. Christopher Columbus discovered Mexico in the New World. People from Spain settled there. That's why the Mexican people speak Spanish. Okay, maybe some of you guys speak Spanish. Okay, or a little bit, right? Our plane will land in the capital, which is Mexico City. Can you guys repeat after me? Mexico City? Good. Mexico City is the largest city in Mexico. It is also the largest city in North America. Okay, there's the picture. Okay, what country is our neighbor to the south? Okay, the answer is Mexico. What is the name of the largest city in Mexico? That is Mexico City. Okay, turn your books over to page 73. In Mexico, the afternoon is the hottest part of the day. You may see people in the villages wearing sombreros to protect themselves from the hot sun. Afternoon time is siesta or nap time. Many Mexicans close their shops in the afternoon so they can eat lunch which is the biggest meal of the day, and rest. Okay, so here's a picture. Take a look at. 
I have some more information for you, so listening ears. Many Mexicans live in small villages. Many houses are small and have dirt floors. Some do not have any windows, so people leave their do doors open during the day. A sombrero is a large hat that gives protection from the hot sun. Serapis hand woven blankets carried over one shoulder. Okay, a poncho is a small blanket with slick cut for head for the head. Mexicans use corn in many things they cook. Tortillas, which are thin corn pancakes, right? Some of you guys have tried tortillas, maybe you haven't, uh, but they look like a pancake. They're round, right, and thin and made out of corn. And there's also some tortillas made out of flour, okay? Some foods that Americans eat and enjoy were first discovered in Mexico, such as, listening ears, guys, Tomatoes, you can echo me, tomatoes, all right, avocados, and chocolate. Raise your hand if you like chocolate. Raise your hand if you like tomatoes and avocados. Not just the sweet, right, guys? We have to both uh, digest things as, as well or healthy foods. <laughs> okay, Mexican children like to play with cats and dogs. They also like to catch iguanas. Okay. Pinatas are filled with candy and toys. Children are blindfolded and try to break them open with a stick. Pinatas are a part of birthday fiestas or parties and Christmas festivities in Mexico. Okay, let's turn over to page 74. Now we're going to travel again in our little plane. Okay, we're going to another portion of our country. Let's see where we're going. We're going to Peru, all right, Peru, all right? The first word in our, in our vocabulary is llamas, llamas, and, sorry, llamas, llamas, and wool, okay? Peru is our title. In Peru, many people are farmers. We like to eat some of the foods that Peru's farmers grow. Farmers in Peru also grow coffee beans and cotton. I will let my parents have the coffee. Raise your hand if you're like, you like coffee. You shouldn't raise your hand. You shouldn't be drinking coffee. But Mrs. Mato loves coffee, right? You guys know that, right? Uh, llamas, sorry, llamas are very common in Peru. They carry goods to market for, peop for the people. Many women in the villages of Peru make beautifully covered cl colored clothes. The wool that they use is from the llamas. I'm going to show you a really cool picture. Okay. Very neat, right guys? Okay, turn your books over to page 75. Okay, make sure to be following along. Sometimes parrots are brought from the jungle to be sold in the markets. People in Peru can buy a parrot for a pet. Okay. If you are visiting in Peru, what direction will you travel to go back to the United States? Okay, the answer is north or northwest. Do you think it hurts a llama to have it its wool cut off? Okay, the answer is no. Just as it does not hurt when we get a haircut. And we've talked about that in the past um, regarding different, uh, when we're talking about wool, it doesn't hurt the animal, guys, okay? It's like getting a haircut. Let me show you a picture of these cool birds. Maybe that's something that um, after our lesson, I want you guys to write at least four sentences about everything or all the places that we travel to. You may use your book, okay? I don't want you to copy from your book, but I want you to come up with your own sentences and your own drawings, okay? Let's turn your books over to page, let's see, I think we are almost done here. Actually, that is the end of our lesson for today. 
I have one question for you, class. Okay. And the question is, do you think, I'm sorry, what interesting animal might you buy for a pet in Peru? Okay, the answer is a parrot. All right. Okay, awesome job. Raise your hand if you enjoyed traveling today, right? That was pretty neat. So we learned about different countries. We talked about our national anthem and some songs that we sing that are important to us as Americans. Okay, you should be grateful for the country that you live in, you know, and if you're able, ever able to travel, it's always nice to travel to discover different places in the world. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay guys, bye.